can you take us back to the time you realized that something might not be right? Yeah, uh, in my case, is a bit different because I detect my cancer on a, a routine annual physical. I used to have uh, my annual physical quite regularly. On that year, I didn't take uh, my annual physical for two years. And then suddenly, the PSA, when I, I tested, PSA means prostate specific antigen test, which is quite definitive on prostate cancer, actually. Mm-hmm. And uh, it is a pity because it only costs uh, 50 ringgit in a commercial lab outside. Mm-hmm. And it's quite definitive right. uh, on a diagnosis of prostate cancer. Okay, so anyway, you hadn't done it for two years. Yeah, I didn't do it for two years. And then, uh, of course, my PSA went right up. And that is trouble. But for ordinary people who are who are men, the, uh, sorry, the men who are over 55, I would advise that really they should have any of this symptom should go and see a doctor or at least have their PSA examined. That means you just take a simple blood test in one of the commercial lab, pay 50 ringgit, mm-hmm. and then you know the results. And it's above uh, four, then you know they're in trouble. The symptom that you know you look out for is that if you have frequent urination in the night mm-hmm. and you have frequent uh, urination in, in the day and you have uh, ED, erectile, erectile dysfunction, All right, erectile and dysfunction. Uh, for those serious cases, even bone pain. Then, indeed, you should uh, either see a doctor mm-hmm. or just have a blood test, a PSA yeah. test, and uh, you know whether you have prostate cancer or not. Okay, it well, is one of the easiest way to diagnose, actually, is to yeah. have a blood test. Now, Kwan Singh, um, you know, when you were diagnosed, when it was mm. confirmed that it was prostate cancer, mm. I mean, what went through your mind? And yeah. how old were you at the time? I was 65 then, and now I'm uh, 74. That was uh, nine and a half years ago. Mm-hmm. And uh, as I said earlier, I went for just a routine uh, annual physical. And you weren't expecting anything yeah. bad? I wasn't expecting anything and then suddenly, you know, the, the doctor said, look, your prostate is enlarged, double its size. I give a PSA test on you. And sure enough, the reading was very high. And then the next day, I went for a biopsy. And the doctor, you know, after about two or three days time, uh, came back. And I knew that something was wrong because he put me as the last patient. And then he walked into the room and he said, Mr. Wong, I have uh, very bad news for you. You have cancer. So, of course, I, I immediately I felt that I was going to die. I, how come I'm 60, only 65 years old? I'm going to die in two years' time, two, or, two and a half years' time or something like that. And uh, I hugged my wife and said, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry I'm going to leave you, you know. And, uh, well, I'm lucky that later on they did more tests. They found that my cancer is not that severe. It was, it has not spread to the bones. Mm-hmm. And uh, now, nine and a half years later, I'm still alive. Yeah, you know? kicking <laughs> I'm still going strong. <laughs> That's yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. You've been in remission now for nine and a half years. Mm. Uh, what do you do to ensure that the cancer doesn't recur? Uh, actually, my cancer came back about three years ago. Oh, dear. And uh, I went to uh, Houston to do a cryo. That means they freeze the part that have cancer. Uh, after they've done that, unfortunately, it didn't work. So, and uh, it, it lasted about one year. And mm-hmm. then, then after that, I started hormone treatment again. Now, I am under hormone treatment now for nearly three years now. Okay. And uh, in order not to, to ensure that it doesn't come back, again, you know, I uh, try not to eat so much meat mm-hmm. and treat it uh, more vegetable. And I do exercise uh, a lot. I swim every day one kilometer. Mm-hmm. And in the morning, I do calling Qigong. So really, I do a lot of uh, physical activity. Uh, Kwan Sing, what is your message to men who might be taking their prostate health for granted? I think, uh, as I said, if earlier on, if you have all this uh, symptom, yeah, definitely must get a test. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you don't, uh, it doesn't mean that you're off the hook. Uh, like myself, I said, I just walk in. Yeah, the you didn't clinic. have the symptoms, I didn't right? have any symptoms. So, just have it every two years. Uh, unfortunately, in some um, uh, uh, companies, they are not in the whole package of uh, annual physical. Mm-hmm. But if they are not, well, just pay 50 ringgit and get it tested in uh, some of the commercial apps.